Hey, we're live. Yeah, live. It Toko, up. how you been, man? Good, good, good. It's good to it's good to have you here, man. But once again, welcome. Um, Tlof Lava, Malole Le, Bulavanaka, um, Kirana, Kiora, No Mai Hare Mai. Welcome to Tamaki Makoto, and we're here with uh, Kali Soleite, Ohila, man, a good friend of mine. Toko, man, it's I know it's been a while, and um, it's uh, I think the last time we we had a chat was uh, in December, I think, eh? Yeah, uh, yeah, last year. Last year. Yeah. Um, Toko, tell me, uh, before we um, actually get into things, uh, just probably just give the viewers a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you're from, um, and a little bit about your family. I know we got your, your son running around here. Toko, what's your son's name? Uh, Melino. Melino, come and say hi. Come and say hi. You're going to be on Facebook and YouTube. Hello. Melino, Melino, Melino. How old are you, Melino? Five. Five. Man, you're massive for five. And um, who, what's your teacher's name? And what school do you go to? Malaka Chinese. Oh man, awesome man! And what what are you gonna do when you grow up? I don't know. You don't know? Cool. No, that's that's fine. That's fine, man. Um, but yeah, man. Thank you for this opportunity to basically have this uh, podcast. I think um, yeah. not too long ago we had we had a what's that? Oh, that's for the internet, for the Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah but you're fine. You can play. You can play. Um, yeah, talk about like December. Yeah, you know, we we I think we ran in and um. Yeah, no, it's uh, I think it was you guys um like a family birthday, or 80th or 90th, or something. Man, I have yeah. talk. I have a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> I have a funny story. You know, um, guess he contacted me about the. Yeah. Guess he contacted me about the um that pod that um that event, doing now. Oh, so Dunyao would actually message me and say, "Hey, Doko, I need a live stream." <laughs> and we got this group chat, and so um, actually, I actually thought he was actually joking, and I said, and he goes, "Oh," and I go, "Who's the who's the live streaming for?" And he goes, "Oh, for the Queen." And I said, "Masi, how long you here, Masi?" Oh no. <laughs> but um, yeah. But tell tell just share with me. Um, oh, let's just go back and just share some thoughts on um who you are, where you're from, and um. Just, just your family upbringing and that sort of stuff, Toko. Uh, yeah. Um, first of all, I'd just like to say thank you again, Milo, um, for this thing I'm out here, for this opportunity. Um, yeah, who am I? That's a good question. Um, uh, I'm Kansuraite Uhila. Uh, uh, born in Tonga. Born and raised in Tonga. Uh, born in Tonga. And... Ife. I lot of Kolomotua. Oh, wow. And that's where my dad's from, and my mom's from La Paja. And yeah, uh, my dad passed away when I was like three years old. So, but um, yeah, so I don't really have a fond memory of my dad, but I know he was a good man. Everyone, you know, mm. yeah, talks about him and kind of says, you know, he's. His mission was he wanted to be a Pafikau. Like, oh, okay. So, yeah, kind of raised and kind of have a background of uh, Pafikaus in my family. I know you were, you're kind of like getting into that sort of stuff, eh? Back, uh, are you uh, still doing it or? No, no, no. no, no, no I'm not into it. Oh, <laughs> must be. <laughs> <laughs> must be a different. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. That was, um, my, my wife was in that, um, in that side of... Uh, I see, Talita was telling me that you're doing somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm... <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> no, <I'm... laughs> no, that's my... My wife was doing a bit of studies in um, theology. And okay, yeah, now it's Kalisi. Kalisi yeah, she okay. finished last year. So. You going to say, say something? <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so it was Karisi that uh, did a bit of study um, in theology, and she finished, and she'll be graduating this year. Oh, okay. So, yep. Yeah. Got the wires mixed up there, <laughs> mate. Sorry about that. No, no, no. It was a bit of a dream for myself. To, that was one of my dreams to become a Fafi Gao as well, mm, mm. to kind of pick up where my father left mm. and kind of follow that line of um, ministering in, that, in the field. But then I kind of went... Uh, 
I think it's not my my calling to be in yeah in the public eye or be in the ministry, but I kind of see where I'm where I'm at like as an artist and kind of seeing that's also another way of uh, ministering through what I do. Mm. Yeah, I don't have to be in a church or be in a place where I think, but I can be outside or anywhere I can be to kind of also have that message of um, a message like saying, yeah, through through what I do, I can have uh, that message mm. and ministering in my own ways. Do you have any? Um, I know this is probably a long shot, that <clears throat> apart from your fondest memories, that. And, and like, do you have any photos of your dad or anything like that? No, any, any uh, records or? No, nah, no. Nah, nah. My mum, she's got an album full of um, my dad's pictures. And, oh, that's uh, cool, though. Yeah. So we, we now, I, now and then I take my kids to kind of have a look at who their grandfather was and that. But yeah. But um, I kind of grew up with my, my, my father's brother that also came in and stayed with us. For Who's a that? This is a man called Dani. So, yeah. Mm. He came in and uh, kind of became a father role model to me growing up. And, yeah. So, I was blessed that he was he came in and um, took that, that role as a father for me. And I'm sure he must have shared some, um, just some really good stories about your dad. Yeah, no, he did. He shared a lot of stories. You know, he kind of said that my father was uh, a bit different from what he is <laughs> or mm, who he was. Mm. Yeah. But, um, you know, kind of fond memories of him, like from his past and time that he had with my father. But, yeah, well, you know, kind of like for myself, I kind of grew up like, you know, kind of looking for that voice, a father figure voice. Mm. But, you know, not actually knowing that that's right in front of me that or not knowing that, you know, our Heavenly Father is the Father we kind of seek refuge or mm. becomes our Father. Yeah. True. And, um, <clears throat> any, any, any siblings? Yeah, I've got, um, there's four of us. I'm the youngest and the most good lookingest. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, uh. And, um, the only one that's married to a tongue. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I got uh, I got two brothers who are older than me and one sister. So one older brother, he's in Taranaki. Uh, his name is Vadney, and another brother that's here, uh, Loma, and um, my sister Lavinia. So yeah, I got yeah, and just my mum. So. Oh, nice, nice. And you've always been here in Auckland? Yes, I've always been here in Auckland. And I grew up in uh, Ponsonby. Oh, you know, the place. It's just a leg, like the, Long, yeah, I mean, like, just a hub for all us Pacific Islanders. I never grew up in Ponsonby, but I play for Ponsonby. <laughs> 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 There's been a one of the ponds in VA, even uh, though, geez. even though all those boys in TP kind of like, ah, yeah. uh, you know, you know ponies hard, yeah, ponies hard, man. Ponies ponies hard. Hard. <laughs> um, what was like, what, what was like growing up in in Pontonby in those days? Yeah, well, to be honest, like, uh, I know it's different, hey, dog. It's yeah. really, oh, really, really different really now. Different it's, now. Uh, it's full, uh, the lights are full bright on, you know. Um, everything's different. Got restaurants and even all the upper class stuff kind of thing. Mm. Too colourful for me. So mm. back then it was good. Like you know, all your um, kind of like you know, kind of like like the experience of living in Tonga. You know, you got your, your whole neighbour. You, you know, you got neighbours full of Tongans back then, and like um, you know, they're kind of asking that they're knocking on the door on the neighbours' doors and kind of. Saying, oh, you got a bit of masima there. Sugar. Oh, you got the sugar, you got the flour. You know, and then next minute, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of fitokon mm. yaki, eh? You know, each kind of help each other out, you know, and just kind of living that life. Like, there's no fence or no borders that kind of separate you guys mm. or us back then. But also, like, you know, I was very fortunate to kind of go to a school, like, because. Vermont Street, yeah, Richmond Road. Oh, yeah, man. Richmond Road Primary School. That was one of my schools back then, and ended up uh, St. Paul's, so St. Paul's College. Uh, then, I, yeah, I got a early permission uh, slip from the 
from the principal to kind of seek another another <laughs> not a pathway <laughs> <laughs> you know it wasn't i didn't really do well at school so didn't really do well at school and kind of you know uh english was my second language and still is <laughs> but you know i kind of um kind of you know i take those memories and i keep them and you know that's what makes me who i am today and like you know you know just remembering those streets in Ponsby, you know, you drive past there and you kind of know your ins and outs of the streets, but, you know, kind of just knowing your your, your directions and knowing your ways around your your area. Like, you know, you're probably pulled up in um, Onehanga. Onehanga, you know? man. Pretty so you know, your, you know, you kind of know your streets, you know, yeah. it's hard to get from A to B real fast. A little, little bit different now, man. Yeah. You, you, if you came over to home, man, they've made these boxes. I don't know if you heard... Um, man, they're just blocked. Anyway, long story short, man, it's a, it's a nightmare. Oh, very, very nightmare. But, yeah, definitely agree with you. Definitely yeah. agree with you. So, yeah. So, we do have those changes, eh? You know? So, we have to adapt fast as well. So, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we're, um, You're talking about Ponton D and just you growing up and, yeah. and your schooling in St. Paul's. St. Paul's, yeah. You've got a special the, pass. One of the best schools, you know? League school, eh? Hey, Did you ever play league? No, no, no. I was um, the sideliners. Oh, why? A water bottle. <laughs> keeping them water fueled up. Keeping them fueled up. Just the uh, one filling them up and, you know, kind of um, running in with the oranges, making sure that they're all ready for the next round. Mm. Yeah. Supporting them along the way. No, I wasn't, I wasn't a, a sports player. I never played sports. The only sports I played back then was uh, uh, soccer and cricket. So, you know. So I was kind of like that. I was interested in you know that kind of Rasta life and that kind of. So I kind of, kind of did a bit of um, Bob Marley, eh? Bob Marley, eh. yeah, yeah, Bob Marley, Lucky Dupe, and that. You know, they play soccer, so that's the sports I kind of really like to play was soccer that's or nice, eh? play cricket. Something that you don't get hurt, you know. So basically, basically, are <laughs> you being smart? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to f- follow the rest of our, um, you know, our Pacific brothers. You yeah, know, I wanted yeah. to play a bit something a bit more safer, and you don't get hurt in that. Mm. So, yeah. So I, <laughs> those are the sports I played. Oh man, so like when you were talking about like your, you talk about your schooling and stuff. Did you do, ever like delve into art? I did delve into art. I did. Um, I mean, that was the only subject that I kind of did well in, to be honest. Uh, at school, I was, I got a few um, certificates and a few awards at, at school for for art. And, you know, I was, at that time, I was just using art as a, a way of escape. You know, if I, if I was to be, go to an English class and, and the, the only excuse would be, oh, I've got to go to an art thing. You know, I always had to make the excuse be art, I've got to do art. And all the teachers knew that I wasn't going to art. Mm. <laughs> but they knew that, yeah, that knew something that was up. So I kind of used art was, yeah. But never knew at that time that I was, you know, that art would be something to mm. today. Can we just pause for a second, Doctor? Was, yeah. For those watching, we're just going to just do a quick pause. Apologies, we just, we just got, um, got the young fella here putting on some headphones so we can get some great audio. So, Doko, we, we talked about your subjects and you talked about art, just getting into um, using an, an, an escape. So, what, what, do you mind me asking, Doko, what you're escaping from? Devolo? <laughs> I don't know. I think I was probably seeing, you know, I was probably going through six cents back then. Mm. Yeah. Is it six or five cents? Six. Oh. Six or something like that, eh? <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, nah. I kind of like you know because I wasn't really interested in any other subjects besides um art. So, but th- but that's, that's everyone doco. That's most Polynesians, you yeah. know. Like I mean, so I shouldn't be stereotyping, but <laughs> um, you know, I I escaped. I actually escaped to go play rugby, man. Like, uh, yeah. um, yeah. you know, my wife uh, asked me, was like, did you ever do any polyfest stuff? As we all know, there's polyfest at the moment. I said, nah, I haven't done any of this stuff. I actually ran away from that, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. um, but I've I've got my own opinions and, and beliefs on that. But uh, we won't go there. But um, yeah. But you know, each to their own, eh, yeah. Um, so like, well, is there any anyone in your family that does art? So like, where did this art come from? Where did this art come from? Um. You know, like, not to be thing, but kind of thinking, like, art was, uh, like, was our everyday living mm. of our Pacific people, our Polynesian people. You know, we we see art as a survival, as a way of, um, you know, to kind of um, uh, preserve our, our culture, our kind of... Um, no, every art was just like an everyday thing. It is. It yeah. is. It's everywhere in it's our everywhere. culture. Like you know, I, I would say one. Just give you an example. If you vow that new, you know, you get that out, and you don't, you you can call that a performance art mm-hmm. work. But then if we see it in in, our, in, nah, in the way we see it, I, I, I then totally agree with yeah. you. So that's another way of looking into it. Like, I looked at it that way, though. Yeah. So you can also you can bring that that culture thing to also be another way of um expressing and um just to kind of tell the story mm. yeah so yeah that's an, um, just as the example of what art is how uh, yeah so i kind of thought like because what i did back then was just drawing all the time at home i'll draw bob marley i'll draw like just draw of little pictures of little um legends and little um icons and that my little brother that does that he's yeah. very, he's very very artistic Doctor man i've got no art in my body whatsoever yeah ask me to build something i, I can probably do it yeah that's <laughs> another way of art it is yeah. it is it is it is, it is. A- i think it's just trying to interpret it, the mm. art into something that we can call it art because yeah. i think i think um i think if we look in, in this day and age um the art and being creative is, is more diverse and more expandable compared to um what we had what we call art maybe in the 80s or the 90s where art was just on a piece of paper am, yeah. am i correct yeah yeah it's all you know at all time and age time and you know like you know now we're moving into technology that's another different old um thing talking about that mate do you know do you know much about nfts no I don't. Have, have you heard about it no that digital art and it's just going nuts it's no. going crazy no. Toko. I mean, I mean, no offense to, to no offense to people who are watching the art. Yeah. NFTs is just like it's like pixelated art. Um, um, this might give away our age, but have you ever played <laughs> Sega? Alex the yeah, Kid, yeah, yeah, Doko, That's NFTs, oh. and they're like like um, they're, they're selling this for like just absurd amount of money, man. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's it's, it's unreal, it's yeah. unreal. So it's kind of like interactive kind of work. Or it is. Yeah. It is. It is. I, I I looked into it. Yeah. I mean, I looked a little bit into it. Um. Uh, I, being quite tech savvy myself, I am gonna have a have a little go. Yeah. Um. But yeah, have a look, man. Have a look, talk and tell me what you think. I know it's kind of different to to what you kind of do. Yeah. No, I kind of I did kind of kind of looked into that by the, that interactive part side of things. Mm. Like more like you know kind of just programming you like kind of reprogramming and doing programs you know with your own movements you gotta program you know mm. <laughs> like you know like for the for those that actually don't know me um, long story short i run a live streaming business for lobstream mm. and like i didn't go to school man like it's and it's a little bit different now eh, Doko? like um you know we've got this technology and we've got youtube and we've got all these um just avenues where we can learn um how did you come about learning your craft and in, in your art? Um, obviously, we didn't have any of this stuff back in the day, but um, is it just 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 help paint the picture to, to how did you come about in, in, in doing what you're doing and learning and and just thinking your craft to, to what is it now? Well, well, I I, I started off uh, just drawing in it, but then I moved from drawing just to um, printmaking. 
like printmaking you know kind of carving little mm -hmm. stuffs and that and also doing lino prints doing print works and that but then i kind of um there was a time where i where i uh, needed that s that support but also kind of looking into like um like finding someone that's already been in the field so that was back in 2004 or three like i i wanted to kind of get in contact with one of the like the, the pioneers or one of the great artists of the pacifics and then i realized that there's a the, the tongan guy like um Philippe Tohi. Mm. yeah so i i came and i i rang him and i you know i was trying to find him in that so i found him and like and then i've contacted him and i caught there was a time yeah, when I contacted him, then I, yeah, so we met up. Oh, sorry, it's gonna be a long story. No, no, no. We got we got all the time in the world. <laughs> so yeah, so we so we caught up and yeah, so we came, we caught up and we met and all that and you know just started talking and that. So uh, it was a, it was a, it was one of the questions he asked me was, um, am I married? And I told him yes, I'm married. And then he said, oh, do you have kids? And I said, yeah, I've got one child. There was a time when I had uh, my daughter, uh, Nia. Yeah, and then the first thing he said was, well, you're in the wrong field. This is not the, the right field for you. So I was, so I was thinking what, it, what he meant by this is the wrong field for me because, you know, I wanted to be a famous artist. Mm. And then, you know, then, then he told me that it's not suitable because, you know, I'll I'll sometimes I'll I'll uh, sometimes we kind of leave art and neglect it because it's not a it's not a paying job it's not a yeah yeah, yeah. it's not a it's not a uh, art is nothing you know but but that's the stick to the current dollar but that's that that's that stigma and I like um a lot of people think oh why are you doing art for yeah you know I mean mm. once again. No offense to the people who are watching them, especially how people go, Hello, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay, okay, no, sorry, man. That's, that's the kind of, like, you know. The challenges that the you're challenges, probably facing. Yeah. So that's the, probably the challenge that he went through as well. Mm. So he kind of, like, you know, he kind of said to me, like, that that was not, the, the art is not the right field for me. So I went home, and then I realized that, and I went home, and I was thinking of what he was saying, like, you know kind of left for a whole year i didn't do art or anything are you kidding me yeah because he, he just destroyed my 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 dream what did kalisi say no, she was just thinking oh what's wrong with you <laughs> no seriously like yeah. wow she was just saying oh what's wrong with you then he then she said you, you gotta kind of think of it he's actually not telling you to give up he's challenging you so it was oh. you know it was kalisi that actually kind of you know she kind of um she she told me he's actually challenging you not kind of making you to give up your dream or that but the thing is go back to him mm -hmm. so i went back to him and started talking to him and i told him i was committed i'm ready then yeah so he was like okay if you're ready these are a few things that you gotta do before you actually do art this is not the school art but this is the kind of reality mm -hmm. checks and that so yeah so he so he told me so the thing that time he was telling me, all right, get your passport ready, get your full license, like you know, just getting things ready, and you know. So when, you, when you when 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 you were getting your passport ready, what were you thinking? <laughs> I was thinking, oh, what's my passport for? <laughs> what's my passport for? You know, I don't need to travel anywhere. Uh, like travel, you willing? I done. <laughs> you know, I can just drive there, but but then I didn't see the big picture. Like, mm. you know, I was painting a big picture to for me to kind of get ready with so like yeah so so <clears> we started <throat> journeying from there on and then you know then i started looking into um okay now he's telling me like um he's giving me the advice okay you gotta look into th there's a lot of um uh, things about art there's you know you got sculpture you got you got um <clears throat> you got painting you got photography so you got but the only thing is, I can tell, he told me, like, the only thing is that these are fields are a lot of our Polynesian people in. Mm. And then the way he told me was, 
why don't you look into performance art, which I'm doing now. Look into performance art. There's not much people, not, not much of our people in performance art. There's a few. We've got a few. We've got someone, um, a chief, um, John Yuani, that's in, um, the, he was doing uh, performance art as well. Wh where's he based? He's based in Auckland. Yeah, he's also based in Auckland. So he's one of, he's also like a mentor to me as well. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So, John Yuani, and also like, um, there's other few, a uh, few before me. So, yeah. So. How was it, um, you know, like, we know a lot of people think, um, sorry to, to, to interrupt, but how important are mentors? Man, it's very important. Obviously, obviously you, you wouldn't be yeah. here right now. Yeah, I wouldn't be here right now. So, it's really important to find someone. Someone that's already been there, and that's already, he's already kind of um, how would you say he's already kind of cleared the pathways for you. Mm -hmm. like he's been through the rough roads and he's been there before us. You know, he's laid the foundations for us, mm -hmm. and all we need them to do is to seek their advice, seek uh, or you know find find someone that's like you know that's been there before us. That's you know he, he's seen everything. That's how, how important it is to me as a mentor, because they've been they've been through the hard roads, and all they're doing now for to look down like for the next generation, they're kind of like just kind of oh, okay, just kind of guiding you, kind of like you know looking after you, but also giving you that free free thinking to do your own free thinking at that time. But also you know it's really important. <coughs> yeah, my mentor is really important to me. Um, so your current mentor, I know you got, I know you got a few, mm. but the, the, the one that you're currently working with, um, oh, sorry, yeah. to uh, Felipe, Tohi. Felipe Tohi, how did you, how did you come across him? Um, how did I come across him? Well, uh, back then, like, um, I was looking, I was looking for, for someone to be a, a mentor for me. And then my brother, you fear that, mate. my older brother, <laughs> 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 okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then once, yeah, my, my, my older brother who was living in Taranaki was uh, Felipe Tohi. He lived in Taranaki. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he lived in Taranaki. So, my older brother had a uh, contact with him. And then I told, asked my brother um, if he can uh, hook me up with Felipe's numbers. Mm. So, that's how we kind of started to um, started to talk and that through him, through my older brother. So, yeah. What was his response? when you ha and share us a story of your process like were you like <laughs> kind of like nervous uh, um, did, did you actually did you actually know who he was or yeah no. um yeah I knew, oh, sorry for cutting in bro no no no, no. yeah no sorry, i knew no, i knew i knew all about i knew of his works and i knew <clears throat> who he was and you know it's just that that nerve that that nervous part of um how do you how do you contact approach uh, approach yeah. how do you approach someone you know you kind of you know you kind of see this person as someone that's like a mm. you know like how do you approach like you know is it gonna be easy but when i approached him he yeah no he was uh like he was a real down-to-earth guy eh? mm. like, you know w was he was he sorry to cut, was he here in auckland or was he in currently in taranaki was, when you approached him he was in um taranaki yeah yeah, but lucky my brother was down in Taranaki, mm. so I went down and met up with him, and I actually uh, stayed with Felipe for a couple, couple of weeks before we actually yeah. Oh, nice. So got to know him, yeah. So actually, yeah, found out that we were kind of related as well. Aren't we all like eh, <laughs> <laughs> We are all related somehow, some <laughs> way or form man. as well, eh? Yeah. So yeah, through through all that journey with him, he kind of like you know, kind of pinpointed, um, <coughs> like areas to kind of look into, mm. like you know, much of our people, like all our kakai that's in in this field, and like or, like in the, not in the field, but like already like doing, was I was saying like you know art, there's there's different types of art, like yeah, mm. so at that time so there was not much people in uh, performance art mm -hmm. so that's how i started looking into performance art studied it researched it and yeah and i chose performance art as part of my my undergrad and my um in my masters so yeah so um so how long ago was this when you made this first contact with um with felipe um back uh, the first contact was back roughly, in, uh, roughly say two thousand about 
Um, almost 20 years ago. Wow. Or 15. Oh, yeah. 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah. 15 years ago. Yeah. Man. So, yeah. So, we've been traveling in that. So, yeah. About that part when I was talking about getting the passport in there. Yeah. yeah. Tell yeah. me about Bro, no, it was really like, you know, he was <coughs> telling me about getting my passport and that really, but I was kind of like, okay, I wasn't really too sure about it, but I got it, mm. got my passport renewed. Just telling off why. Yeah, just, you know, got to listen. To the mentor. Uh, yeah, to the mentor. So I got there already, and then a couple, of, after uh, a couple of shows and that, then I got chosen to go to Germany. Whoa. So, so yeah, so then. How was that, doggo? Hey, it was, man, it was like a shock in the life, man. Lifetime. You know, not really. Like how long ago was this? How long ago was back this? Back in 2000 and, uh, 2014. Wow. 2014. Yeah. 2014, traveled to, to Germany. And, and the reason for um, just, show oh, was it was just a little show I did. Uh, Took a little show. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't go. <laughs> you don't. You don't go to Germany for a little show, mate. <laughs> that was a project that I was part of. It was uh, sharing of politics, and um, one of the curators came and he was like, "Cause I didn't even know at this time." He came to uh, uni. Yeah. He came to uni, and I was. Find my CV, got my CV and I buy, I got CV and like um our our, our exams were like doing a, I did a, a performance piece, which was uh, called Mau Mau Taimi. I actually read that. <laughs> I mean the yeah. part of the article. Yeah. Carry on. Yeah, about Mau Mau Taimi. So I did Mau Mau Taimi. <clears> then, you know, just walking around, like this 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 examiner didn't even know what was going on at that time. You know, through that time, I was just saying, uh, in my mind, uh, yeah, I'm going to waste these people's mm. time, you know, kind of, you know, my mom eat their time me with being with me. And after that, then they, then they turned around and asked, oh, where's, where's your work? <laughs> and I just explained it to them. My work is, I've just wasted your time. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasted my your time just talking to you, you know, being right in front of your face, <laughs> like, you know, kind of being there to... That um that, that that face right in front of you. Mm. <clears throat> so yeah, how did that go? <laughs> they were like they just and you can just see their face laughing out. I, I think <laughs> I, I think I think I uh, know honestly. I think if he did that to me, I was like, mate, this guy just bloody wasted my time. But I think they are, they are artists, so yeah. they co- they kind of like interpreted and they they yeah. got they got what you meant. Yeah. But I think if he said that to any other person, he probably would have got a smack. Yeah, I got something. a smack, man. <laughs> Wow, and so, and um, <coughs> sorry. Yeah. And how long were you in Germany for? I was there for um, a one month and a half, a month and a half. Wow. So, yeah. So the so the project. A I little did, show. So the project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Carry on. So, yeah. So the project I did in Germany was uh, Mama Time Me, so wasting time, and yeah. So what I did was you know that, that was the the project on the Germany, I was just sitting in front of their doorstep. You? Yeah, I was just sitting in there in front of their doorstep of the gallery. And, you know, people are walking in and out, walking in, looking at everyone else's work and that. And then they, they ask the gallery, um, the gallery people, where's this one work that we haven't seen and that. And then, and then, <laughs> and of course, the gallery person was telling me after it, they they were looking for my work and you know, <laughs> said that the gallery people just told him his work is about wasting your time. So he's actually in the front, sitting right in the front door, um, front doors, in the in the with the, with the entrance. Mm. Yeah, I was just sitting right in front of the entrance, so people were walking in and out. The more I think about it, Doko, the more I think about it, the more I get it. Yeah. And you know the funny thing, the reason why I get it, if you know me quite well, I'm a bit of a clown, a bit of a joker. Yeah. It's almost something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> um it's unique, man. <laughs> Honestly, it's very, very unique. Uh what a, what tell me, man, what, what inspired you to, to do this? What? I know us people waste a lot of time like uh we mum old dummy, but what what inspired you? What what like what got you to, to do this? Like, you know, it's experience. Like, you know, like kind of... Grow. Your life experience? My life experience. Did you feel that yeah. you were wasting time? No, you know, when you kind of... um, When you 
kind of get that that mau mau taimi word drilled into your into your head and into your mind and that you know oh you know a lot of people like sometimes my mom says oh tuka mau mau taimi yeah like, we've heard yeah. that all the time you know something that we've grown up with mm. that's kind of engraved into our mind that why what are, you know why do we waste time why are we wasting time mm. so you kind of think of it about things like that they kind of relate to our days to today or to yesterday or yeah so so basically you know that's i i bring those experiences and i kind of look into it and then form uh create a work out of it so so yeah so because it, it's not only me but it relates to everyone and it's broad mm. so it's not just you know to, uh, kind of limiting it just to our identity or colonization and that but it's something that uh, evolves around us our everyday living and you know probably for the next generation people our kids will be still called my mom tell me so when you um when you when you approached this to your mentor about it yeah um what, what was his reaction obviously m- from my understanding when you when you have an idea and something in your mentor you say hey mentor what, what do you what do you think about this what was his reaction <laughs> <laughs> no, his reaction he was just laughing as you know, he was just really? laughing at it. Eh? He was like, you know, that's how we can draw attention to something so simple but cute and but that simpleness that kind of um ripples through it's very simple. Yeah. Don't that's, know how more simple you can get. So so yeah, so that's 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 like what my mentors like kind of guidance is like, you know, just find something that's really simple but effective. So do you find, sorry to cut you off, um, in this day and age with this art and, with th- and the stuff that you're in, do you find that there's a lot of people trying to complicate things? Uh, be honest, I'll be honest, eh? yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. A lot of people kind of complicate it and kind of over re- over <coughs> over complicate it instead of just keeping something real simple, like, you know, but like, yeah, very really effective. Most people probably want to know, um, got a, a comment here from Siaosi Halaholo. Uh, yeah. Just, say, just saying hello, <laughs> Malo Tokoa. Big shout out to yeah. Doko if you're still house. watching. <laughs> um, most people would want to know is like, oh yeah, great. You you, you <clears throat> got your mentor, you, you got your passport. How did you get to Germany? Like, is, is this something that you funded yourself or um, you got funded for some, from somewhere? Just maybe share, share the aspect of that, of that journey? Um, everything was paid for. Um, uh yeah everything was paid for looked after by by the people from germany and um what did i need to do was just to make sure that i when i leave um leave my family behind that there's actually something that they can survive with mm. like without throughout the whole month that i'm away so yeah so also kind of thinking like you know like um yeah that also can open up other possibilities to uh, as well Man, great work, eh? Yeah. Um, obviously, so from Germany when you came back, w- yeah. what was next after that? Uh, went to went to Canada. Man, I'm in the wrong job. <laughs> 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 and and another l- little show. No, 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 yeah, just another little show. Yeah. <laughs> and what, and what um, did, you, did you just like do the same thing, or you did no, something? No, you did I, something different. I did something different, and it's you know right down our avenue, like you know just go to um, Canada to blow the corn shell. When you blew the conch shell, you know, you only blew it to, uh, two times. Then don't go, don't go, hold on for a second, man. <laughs> this may sound weird. It's like just, I actually don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the kerea. You know, the, no, yeah, the yeah. shell? No, no. The, the, the corn? The, yeah, the conch shell. Share oh. with me, man. Honestly, honestly I, 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 man, like, I was born in Tonga, <laughs> by the way, for those who are watching and listening, I was born in Tonga, <laughs> but raised up here in New Zealand. Yeah, it's called a kerea. Yeah. Like the conch shell. Mm hmm. Yeah. The, the actual corn? The conch, conch shell. You know, the big one. Yeah, the, yeah. the guane. No, 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 not corn. Conch. Conch shell. Oh, man, I, I'm going to have to Google it up. But <laughs> anyways, Doc, I'll carry on. Yeah, it's a conch shell. The, you know, when you... when My when, wife's going to smash me like this. A, when like, there's a fun or something, the Pacific people... Oh, use. no, I got you now. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yeah got you. I got yeah. you. So... Well, 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 what would you call it? No, I thought you when you said corn showers. Oh, like, corn. corn. The guane. <laughs> 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 okay, so you took that over there to Canada. 
I, yeah. bet, I bet you they've never seen any, anything like that. Nah, nah, they haven't. <laughs> so, yeah, so I only blew that twice and that was the end of the show. <laughs> the money. <laughs> Far out. It was, um, it was uh, I think, for the Pacific. Mm. It was about climate change. So I took that um, that work, that gun shells work, just to blow it there twice. It was the How long were you there for? I was only there for a day. Wow. So, so you went there and you came back? Yeah. I was only there for uh, uh, another day. I was there for two days. M- my wife and I went to Canada not, not too long ago. One of our trips before COVID. And, excuse me. Yeah. I know how long it takes. Man, that's a painful trip. I mean, I mean it's not a painful trip, yeah. but long trip. Yeah, long trip. It's nice. It was a nice trip. And from Canada? Yeah. What, did, what did you do with that? I went, uh, traveled, uh, traveled, around, traveled around New Zealand. And then did some touring around New Zealand, and then went from New Zealand. I went to to Samoa, and then Samoa to Rarotonga, then Rarotonga to Tonga, and I went also to I'm all low yet. Sorry, the drink is more almost almost blew up. <laughs> nah, yeah, so yeah, so like I just started realizing, like you know, getting my passport ready and that. So you know, um, yeah. Did you ever question, Philippe, about like why why am I getting a passport? Like, did you ever question? Yeah, no, I question him. Yeah, and I, you know, sometimes I kind of doubt it as well. I doubt what well, like you know I kind of doubt like uh, I don't know why why the passport yeah why the passport was that important you know what the funny thing is hmm. this is gonna sound weird and for for all those <laughs> are listening and watching my wife and I for some reason we we've been watching the Karate Kid yeah you you've seen the Karate Kid yeah, eh? yeah. when Mister Miyagi tells Daniel San to um, do those chores for what's over and yeah. he, same thing eh? Cause why am I why am I painting the fence why am I polishing the car That's it, and eh? all that time he's preparing you did you did you feel that way after i experienced what well, after i experienced it but i was questioning it and i was like <clears throat> gee, you know gee, a bit thing about it, unsettled with it uh, like you know why why get ready of my passport or uh, why get ready of my license did Galicia say what are you think what are you getting a passport for did, he, did she say anything like that as well or? Uh, she just yeah uh she did question why a passport and that yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. she did and also, you know, of course we had to get our driver's license in there. Mm. I didn't really, I was out back then, I was only on learners. Learner, eh? So he was telling me. Big jump from learner to full, eh? To full. <laughs> 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 so he told me to get my full, so you know, I didn't really realise why full. Once then I realised full was because I had to travel around mm. New Zealand and that, just driving down to places and that. Oh, man. So... Wow, what a what a journey, Doctor Man! <laughs> what a journey, man! I didn't even yeah. knew any of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, like I knew that you you're into art, and my, my wife, like yeah. so she always loves your work, and you're into the performing arts. Yeah. And um, while we're on the art art topic, <clears throat> I'm just gonna just touch on this for those that are actually watching. They're probably seen seen the screenshot. I think this happened not last year or the year before. I can't remember when, but you got an award, Doctor. You you can't see this, but I think I, sh- yeah. I showed you. You got a performing artist. Um, and you got a you receive a hundred thousand dollars for the Harriet um, Freelander residency. Can you just um, share a little bit about that for us? Yeah, no, like um, the, that one was actually a like you know it was also a big surprise for me. Um, you know, the, 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 the thing was you know they they uh, choose to they choose the per the people. Mm. So I was I was actually. No, I'll tell you the story of how I was Go for when, it. when they Go rang for me. It. When they rang me, in fact, you know, just um Warwick Freeman. He rang me how many times and I you know, I just didn't answer it. But you knew the number or uh, you didn't know uh, who the number I was? I didn't know who the number was. And he left a message on my phone of oh, this this um uh this this uh, resident residency that uh that they've got for me. But I knew because he's a jewelry maker. He's mm. a jewelry uh, designer in that. He, thought, okay. He's based in New Zealand. He's based in New Zealand. He's based in New Zealand. He's also an artist, by a jewelry maker. Mm. Yeah, but I thought, okay, this <clears> residency <throat> must be just for Alongahi jewelries, and so I was like, okay, why not? Why not go and do something? Give it a go. Give it a go. But then when you, then I realized, then, then he rang again. Mm. I answered the phone. Then I asked. And then he was telling me about the residency and the hundred thousand. You know, that that price, mm. like. Yeah, he was asking. Then I go, okay, is this for 
jewelry making or what's this what's this all about then he's like no no this is bigger than the jewelry making this is a travel to new york and wow and spend this hundred thousand on your projects or whatever you need to do while you're living there your expenses when you're going to travel to new york so yeah so so i actually just realized that it's really important to answer your cause it is very important to not, not to answer so like if i didn't answer that call i probably would have <laughs> no they probably still would have but um they probably still would have so, continued to try and call so yeah so that's why i realized that you know where were you <laughs> where, where where were you at that point of time when when you were taking the call were you here with like family and friends or were you in the car or were ah, you at talking, work or i'm talking i'm here Oh yeah, I just woke up. I just woke up and I just <coughs> yeah, you know, just random number, you know. And you, you know, sometimes you don't answer random numbers. Yeah. So yeah. I know, I know, I know that. <laughs> was it a private number or just a number just like showed up? Yeah, on no, screen? those are uh, yeah, uh, random. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I uh, I don't answer random. Numbers, but since that day, I answered yeah, all the calls. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just backtrack. So, obviously, you just you must have done something like the, like when I was reading the article and stuff. Um, that you you applied for it or you entered it or, or someone entered no, you in no. it. Uh, the there's a there's a prestigious um, award, which they every two years they choose someone. Yeah, I read that. Yeah, they choose. Uh, they have a, um, they have like a, a, a group that they look. They they choose from them. From them, uh, they have their own panels and that they choose from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was fortunate to actually um, receive this award. Uh, doesn't mean doesn't mean I'm rich. Like my family, they already like. Hey, man, I <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and um, I do have a link for those who are actually listening and watching. I do have a link at the bottom for the whole article. And um, was it something about the judges or, or people who received it in the past, like guys like Sam Neil and um, nah, Sam Neil and them, they were um, getting honored by um, icons. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting, yeah. This is Sam Neil, the one in the Jurassic Park, eh? yeah, yeah, far out, man. Sam Neil and and there's some other names, sorry, I didn't write it down, yeah. but. Man, and, uh, Joy Cowley. Yeah, yeah Joy, Joy Cowley. The book writer. The book writer. You know, I did a podcast with um, that David. You know, David Riley. Oh, David Riley. Didn't yeah. David Riley speaks. Yeah. Um, is it there? Um, she's quite old, eh? Yeah, Joy Cowley. She's old. Yeah, yeah. she's like yeah, yeah. man. Uh, David Riley speaks very, very highly of her, man. Yeah. Very, very highly of her. Yeah. Now she's one of well, you know, would have read her when we were still that young age, mm. but she's got good, good books. Good. Oh books. man, very, very iconic. Yeah. Very, very iconic um so you got this award um obviously uh, we've seen this picture oh, let me just pull that up on the screen again um with you do you so you went down to wellington did you go down to wellington to yeah. get this award uh, just to share share us share, yeah, share your I story went down, on that. went down to wellington yeah i took down i took my my wife and my mother and my mother-in-law mm. the three most important ladies in my life mm -hmm. you know uh, you know, I think for my mum, like, you know, she's, I've been taking her back in high school and then, you know, getting phone calls from the principal, you know, you take them to the wrong places back then. Mm. <laughs> Finally, eh? <laughs> Finally. 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 Government house. <laughs> must have been so proud, Toko. Honestly. Uh, yeah, she, yeah, she loved it. She loved it. Then, yeah. But you know, it's it's great to have those support people around you. You have to. You know, you gotta have them. You know, you know. For me, if it wasn't for <laughs> my wife to kind of give up her dream to let me um, pursue mine, you know, I don't think I would be here as well. But you know, it's for through her. You know, that's a lot of things that's um that you know that's that's happened. Uh, yeah, that's been happening there through. Her, you know, looking after our, my kids, um, and just you know having that patience. Mm. But um, yeah, I think now, kind of like I kind of 
stay back now and trying to give the same back to her so let her um follow her dreams and mm. do what she wants to do we are a, you where are you at your studies currently or, or right um now? on the hold at the moment mm-hmm. i'm actually looking into doing my doctors my phd um, oh if i say next that. year yeah yeah so just around the corner anyway yeah. Topo. so kind of looking into that just you know sometimes i feel like i'm not doing this for myself but uh, not only for myself or my family but also you know for my for my country as well mm-hmm. for for pacific polynesian people as mm-hmm. well so, so yeah so it's kind of like you know i'm not painting a painting for myself but it's a painting for everyone to be yeah to be part, part of let me get this it's not a physical painting but a visual kind of uh, visual kind of uh, i'm starting to get it <laughs> i'm a fast learner I'm a fast learner but um yeah man nah, it, it's it's good to um you know it's good to see our people um ba- basically doing these kind of things and um you know i'm hoping that this type of content can inspire one or two people that are kind of like in your field or or going out to do something i um, mean one of the reasons why we're here is, is basically sharing the stories that aren't being told and um and that's why i'm here for it um to try and tell the story as, as best as i can and we really really appreciate you being here Toko. no thanks Toko. and also i just like to kind of um just acknowledge <coughs> my mentor and my mentors and um just the people that's um been before us um that's paved the way for for us to for days to for today and if it wasn't for them you know um i don't think it would be a easy road i'm not saying it's an easy road but i think it would be much more harder than what it is today mm. for you know our our ancestors and all that so yeah so. Do- Doko, you know we've we've talked about all the good stuff yeah but there must have been some times that you said stuff this man i'm not gonna uh, that's it i'm just <laughs> yeah that, <laughs> it's not for me yeah there is a time like um there's a time where i did this work um Maui there's a time vaguely where, heard yeah, of it Maui this work i did um for for one of my projects like i i went and stayed and lived with the homeless people but before that like um the, one of the the gallery people at, uh, they approached me and they asked me if there's anything um anything for for them to kind of have for their gallery and that and i and i told him like you know, at that time i was going through depression you know going through the hard times and and i was thinking of something but i couldn't find anything but then one one day me and Kalisi were driving through queen street and then i kind of saw the homeless people mm. you know the only thing i could kind of describe that 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 feeling i was going through at that time was something ugly and I kind of went, man, the homeless people are ugly, you know. That's something you know, don't want to see. But then, yeah, by that time, like the, the whole, then I then I came up with the idea, okay, I'll, 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 I'll live homeless, I'll do homeless, because that's something that's inside me at the moment. And I was really, yeah, I, I, yeah, no, it's, yeah, no, it was um, a time, you know, it was a hard time at that time. You know, I was going through um, depression and just finding things a bit hard at that time. But, um, so I chose, I, I, I rang the, the, the gallery people and I said, oh, look, I work for you guys, but uh, mm. you guys got, um, uh, if you guys want it, then, you know, I can give it to you guys. Uh, it'll be me living on your premises for for as long as I as long as you guys want me to live wow. on the premises and uh, you know it'll be about the homeless people so that project at that time um I was living out in Pakaranga and yeah I was living around Pakaranga you know what Pakaranga is like yeah you know, not much yeah mm. not much homeless people at all mm. or, yeah the rich people and that um yeah so so yeah I met up with um one of the one homeless person that was living in the park in Pakuranga, and then uh, we had a good talk and that. Then it was on like he was asking like he was just talking about Polly or Maori. Ah, uh, Maori. Mm. Yeah, the Maori guy, uh, Stevens. 
um, but yeah, Rev, I met off him and we were talking and talking, and then I told him about the project I'm doing, <coughs> what I'm doing in that, and it's about homeless people and that. Then what he did was he asked me, he told me, man, it'll be good if you can have a voice for us, you know, for us voiceless people, have a voice for our people. So I, yeah, so I did the project, and, and I, yeah, and it was about prejudice. Mm. You know, the, the whole theme was about prejudice. And so it was well received. And also, you know, I I left there and, like, you know, I, I stayed on their premises and there for the whole three weeks. And, excuse me, sorry, about three weeks. And daikaukau and everything. Daikai you know? and stuff. Daikau. Pretty much living yeah. what... What this experiencing? Wow, experience, you know. <coughs> and then from there on, um, from that project, and then from that project, after I finished that project, and it was well received, you know. The whole whole thing wanted me out of that area, mm. wanted me out of the area. Even one person spat on my face, you know. Just stood there and did a goggle, you know, goggle. And the next minute, <laughs> all you hear was that. <laughs> next minute. Then that, then you just see that that spit flying at you, it's like man, I was gonna you know I was gonna react to it, but then I went nah, it's better not to react to it. It's much more, it's much more <coughs> thing if you don't react to it. Mm. Let that person go home and you know kind of remember what he did. What did you do? Like what 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 did you do for him to to do that? Like it was just being in their face, just sitting there, just sitting on. The so, but, so in other words, you do nothing. You were doing nothing. I was doing nothing, man. I <coughs> was yeah, basically just sitting there, just doing nothing. And yeah, and Pakaranga was done, and then we left from Pakaranga. We me and my family packed up and left to Tonga. This was two thousand thirteen, mm. and then I got a call. Then I got a call from from Auckland Art Gallery about 2013, 14, 14. They got a call from the gallery, Auckland Art Gallery that um that Moito Garcia was chosen for one of the prestigious um, wow uh, uh, projects. So from there on. I thought it was a lie. Hey, I actually thought that someone was just someone <laughs> pranking was, you. Yeah, pranking me. Because we already moved. Me and my me and Kadishi and the kids, kids had already moved to Tonga. Mm. Moved here. How long were you in Tonga for? Well, only there for one and a half. Oh years, wow! Yes, yeah. So we actually we left thirteen, came back fifteen. So, so yeah, so yeah, so I thought it was a prank. So then after that, then they rang me and they told me. You know, Moito Garcia was chosen for this, this prestigious um, award. Mm. So then I was like, oh, okay, happy other for you, Lloyd. You know, I wasn't really, okay. But then when the email and stuff started coming. Just the, like the phone call. Just like the phone call. He like, mau inga, but the email. Answer that email, eh? <laughs> Second lesson. For those who are watching Second Lesson, answer your phone calls and answer your emails, and you never might get a good surprise. Yeah, never know, never know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so got the email, then uh, everything was all um, verified and everything was all set to go. Then I told Gadisi, okay, I think I'll kind of go and check this out. And then, then, then we had to come from Tonga, move back from Tonga, because we were in South Otai, the mm. Tonga Methodist um, church. church. Yeah. We were in South Otai. <clears throat> Um, I just was doing one year in South Otai. <coughs> so, but the thing was, I was only going to come and do the project and go back to Tonga. Uh. But then uh, one of the problems was we weren't allowed to be separated. We had to come back. Yeah, together. Together. <coughs> so we came back together. Came back, did the show in 2015. And from there on, um, 2015, I think 2015 or 14, I'm not so sure. Yeah, from there on, did the work and then... Yeah, then, uh, you know, I just never knew that Moito Gaussia, something that that ugly would be, you know? I know. Yeah, but but to be honest, from that experience living with the homeless people in town also, it made me realise we are all people, we are, you know? We're all humans. You know, you may judge the homeless people, mm. but sometimes you kind of, 
uh, you take things out of um, context and not realizing yourself, you, you know, and yeah, just, you know, from that time I judged him, I made my own judgment against <coughs> the homeless people about not realizing that, you know, that we're all the same, equal, so that's part of the project that kind of got me the most. Wow, man. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what the funny thing is? Man, there's like so much coincidence. Yesterday I was watching, I can't remember where, but there was a mayor in the United States mm. and he did he did everything. I can't remember where it was. Um anyways, long story short that uh one of one of the so he, he, he got jobs and he got everything, but there was one thing that he couldn't that they struggled with was the homeless people. Yeah. Um and he went to his board of directors and they asked and um and they this might be different here in New Zealand, but in the States. Um, so when he's to, to his directors and, and the board and he goes, so what's what's the issue with these homeless people? And um, and I had the first, I had the same response as well. And, and they said that they're lazy. They don't want to go to work and da 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 um, And he said, oh, yeah. So long story short, he he, he did kind of like what did what you did. Mm. Dressed up. Uh, I don't know if you dressed um Yeah, anyways. So he, he, he played the homeless thing. Um, mix and mingle, um, and uh, might be different here, but um, they, you know, long story short, they just they they wanted to be loved, mm. you know. They wanted, to, and what you touched on is they they actually wanted to be equal, as well. Um, but it's yeah, I know, I know. Sometimes, uh, and I, I, you know, I'm I'm guilty with that as well. I mean, I'm guilty of judging a book by its cover. Yeah. Um, normally when I, um, you know, and that's something we need to change you know we don't know their circumstances we don't know yeah. what's happened there might have been um a, a top ceo one stage you, yeah. you you just actually don't know that's you know what i mean yeah um because everyone's got a story you know everyone's everyone has, got a story that's it everyone's got a story you know where we where you and i now mm. um you know we, no one knows our story prior to that yeah and and, and that's why we here is actually just sharing sharing that story and that's hopefully it. someone can pick pick a few things out of it and apply it to their lives and, and be a better person that's it yeah yeah so yeah so <coughs> instead of judging why don't you go and sit with them and mm. come talk to them first before you judge mm. so yeah I was gonna finish off on a couple of things, eh? Um, and I know, I know, you, I know, your boy's very tired, so I'm not. I'm gonna try and cut this short. Doko, I know you talked about your dad. Um, and have you ever drawn a portrait or something of him, or you, you've taken a photo and, and done a sculpture or, or, or anything in those lines, or? Nah, <coughs> not I yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've always thought about something like that, but I was kind of thinking of like like a thing of um like a, a voice some kind of like just a voice don't need any images or anything but just a voice if you can just kind of have like a voice of a father i'm trying to picture what you're trying to say <laughs> <laughs> yeah. elaborate Doc, oh, trying to like, <clears throat> just having explain like, to her, not my wife was what she's yeah. watching like um, if, you, if you have a back a black room darked out uh, and you just have a voice like a father's you know her father's voice is so strong so you know, so powerful. If you have just a father's voice, you know, just saying something in in any language, mm. just in that you know, that I love you, or something like that. Doko, is this um? Sorry to get really personal. Is this because you have never heard your father's voice? Yeah, I've never heard my father's mm. voice. I've never seen them. I've seen photos. Yeah, but I've never heard a voice. Mm. Or like you know, just that. Yeah, so I kind of look at it like. I know Jesus <coughs> is our Father, and mm -hmm. you know, we have our gods, you know, but just a voice of someone just saying "I love you," just just leave it as that. Mm. So. Doko, um, have you have, have you seen that my, my Heritage app? Have you have you heard have no. you heard of it or seen it? No. You haven't heard of it or seen it. No. <coughs> so basically, Doko, sorry to continue on your dad. So, my mum passed away in two thousand and fourteen. Mm, um. Yeah. And um, but the funny thing is, um, I actually was doing filming for um, what's your grandma's name? Uh, she was named mum. Uh, oh, um, we we just failed. Uh, wait, wait, I've got to get it. I've got to. It's um, three, two. Wait, wait, in, uh, no, it's. Um, <coughs> anyways, sorry, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was actually doing filming. I was actually filming the um, viola. Viola. I was viola. doing. I was doing some stuff for viola. Long story short, and on my way home, my uncle, my phone was ringing. You know, it was yeah. Ringing. Um, long story short, my my mum passed away. You know, just one day she was ha- alive. Next day, thing. Yeah. But anyways, so my heritage app mm. can take a photo, and um, and kind of like make it move and blink and that mm. sort of stuff. But only you know it was. Anyways, my my cousin done it. Um, his name is Taufa. I mean, like I always thought about doing, it, but I didn't want to do it. But he he did it. And he sent me. I was actually at work, <laughs> and he sent it to me for, for, for music. It wasn't the music. Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah. It was just yeah. Just what was the first? You know, like I've got videos of her. Doc. Sorry yeah. to, to bring all this up. No, that all good. Um, because you know I've got videos and stuff that. Yeah. You know, but um, just to have that as a bit of a surprise was a uh, mm. was very emotional for me. Yeah. Um. But do look into when you get a chance. My heritage, My heritage. Um, it, you, you can take a photo, and I don't know how it does it, um, but it makes it move and that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, um, and I know because I know I know I know those I know back in the day. I'm not too sure how old your mum and dad was, mm. but they probably didn't have vid- they probably had videos, but yeah, yeah. No, my dad died when he was forty. Wow. So I'm turning forty in two weeks' time. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, it's kind of like, oh, am I going to pass 40? Or am I, I don't know. He don't look 40. <laughs> hey, by the way, Toko, I know you, you, you yeah, sorry, I'm going to drag this out a little yeah. bit more. Oh, okay. And um, uh, those are watching, Toko, you're, the, you're doing plant-based diet? Yeah, man, I'm doing plant-based diet. Oh, holo, I'll be doing last time I saw Malo, it. Aloy, yeah. Malo, <laughs> <laughs> No, um, and um, share, share like for those sake, it, the reason why I don't want to touch about this plant based diet. Yeah. Have you seen um, man, I'm, I'm, I'm um, it was huge back last year. Um, mm. the, the program, the vegan program. What is it? Not, um, was on Netflix. Have you seen it? Oh, no. Uh, no. Shit, it's gonna come to me. But yeah, what what's the reasoning behind the plant plant based diet? Um, one day, like you know, because it's yeah, um, sickness. Kind of just limping around there um, uh, outside one day, and my neighbor, he's a radiologist. Um, how do you say it? Radiologist. Uh, uh. Yeah, kidney side of things, and he was telling me one one. He was telling me when he was seeing me um, limping, he was like, "Man, um, you know, if you if you start eating um, plant based, you know, it'll help you in that. So this is like you know beginning of the year. It'll help you." And he was just telling me, you know, from from limping, it can lead into um, high blood pressure and then high blood pressure to kidney failure. And he was just telling me all this, and he was telling me, like, you know, he's seen a lot of our Polynesian people, our Pacific people going in there and not have no, and coming back out, not not surviving Mm. kidney failures. Mm. So he was just like looking and just kind of like advising me, like, the only way that you can kind of thing is to change the way we eat, because you know how our Pacific people they used to eat um, plant based back then. Yeah, and and you know their body and their condition into <coughs> like you know to the plant based, but when we come into like you uh, like places like New Zealand, chicken based, start eating <laughs> chicken based and beef based. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the, 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 the movie is called Game Changers Game have, have you heard of it? No, no. Netflix? Netflix Honestly yeah. It talks about all this And it's science based But um, no, I totally agree with you Toko. Like um, c- c- Going back to To what you are saying um, <clears throat> Man eating's our Devil man Honestly Yeah, like uh, yeah. But um, so t- Share with us man Like how long How long you been doing it And then um, um, What kind of results And effects you been, you've been you've, you've seen from it well, I started off as one one thirty kgs, mm. and now I'm one nineteen. Oh, wow. and you know, just eating clean, <clears throat> and not only me, also my wife as well. Well, me and Kalishi both, you know, um, on plant based, but also you know, you can feel a lot more energy, like you know, feel more energy mm. during that. You know, you can uh, before I couldn't last the whole day. Now I can just. You know, enjoy my day and enjoy more time with the kids, mm. even in up to evenings and that. Mm. Before I used to, once it's lunchtime and that, after lunch, I'm mohit mm. or something. I sleep early and that. And like, yeah, so now I'm more alive, more active, and I have more time with the kids, more time with my wife. And yeah, so 
just changing the way you eat and then it kind of gives you more more of that motivation and more of the push and plus you know is that why why yeah. are we doing it is it just for ourselves or is it for for our family well why so yeah so yeah and i saw you like um you know came in earlier just to set up yeah. and you're you're telling your kids that choose one snack i mean mm. you know that sort of stuff but um you know and yeah and i had chat and i had chat chat so what you're giving you lollies and stuff and mm. you're, you're trying to just use it as, as treats and not just like an everyday thing yeah. Yeah. good on you man oh, good on you um just to wrap things up doko yeah, um a couple of questions Multi, multiple, um, multi-choice Christian man. Are you um, a Cadbury or you're Whitakers? Uh, Whitakers. Whitakers. Favorite Whitakers got chocolate. Um, almond. Almond. Yeah, another one has got almond. <laughs> man, I did a um, I did a podcast with uh, Ty. Yeah. With the I am up chat yeah. charity. He did he did almond as well. <laughs> Ford or Holden? Yeah. Ford or Holden? Holden. Holden. Why Holden? It's just more grantier. Oh wow. Uh, <laughs> You know, you know they don't do Holdens anymore for police cars here in New Zealand. Oh, do you know that? So they're yeah. using Skodas. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, rugby or rugby league? Nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Touch. Touch. Oh man. Touch. Touch. Um, man, do you have a league? Are you a leaguey? Nah. No, no, neither. Neither. Oh man, last last one, man. Um, if, if you had to invite four people to dinner with your family, past or present, who would it be? Uh, probably, I'll be my my mom and my dad and my my mother-in-law mm. and yeah, father-in-law. Mean family, eh? Yeah, man. Oh, my kids. Sorry. I mean, no, 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 your, your, your kids and stuff are already oh, yeah. at the dinner yeah. table. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Expect that answer. Doko, man, I think that's it. I know your, um, your, your kid. Yeah. Can I leave one thing for, for, for that? Go for it. Go for it. Um, just love the life you, you live. Live the life you love. Nice. Nice. Where do you get that from? <laughs> 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 Doko, before we finish man um, I love that quote Love the life you live And live the life you love mm. Basically like Trying to enjoy What you're doing yeah. every, every every single day And every single moment Because if you don't love What you what you think Then it's going to be A long journey it's just, remember, I, I won't get into detail man. Yeah. Like we can talk For another half an hour But <laughs> in, in it, it's a similar story I, I, I talked about my wife you know, yeah. She went teaching And wasn't You know yeah. And she loves What she does Yeah you know what I mean, and um, yeah, and that's the thing. You gotta find what you love, but it's very really difficult. I find sometimes. I did a podcast not too long ago. Um, um, what would be some of your advice to, to especially to the to to the parents? Um, and you know, like for example, like kids, they want to be an artist, yeah. and they go, "Oh, she took my mom time, you know," or they want to be a dancer, um, or they want to be doing this. Mm. What What would you advise the kids or parents? Just to give them a shot or give them a chance. Well, if they see the kids or the kids know what they love and they're really passionate about it, I think you kind of let them, you kind of follow them and follow their dreams. Because mm. if you're going to end it right there, it's just going to, you never know what's, you know, you never know what's in the making. So love what you do. and Do what you love. Do what you love. And if you don't like it or if you don't love it, and it's gonna be a really long journey in life. Mm. Yeah, and it's gonna be like me, mau mau time. Oh man, honestly, <laughs> hey, far out, I can't believe it. Talk about Germany, Canada, Pacific Islands, man. You've been to more places than me, man. Uh, yeah. Shucks. <laughs> man, once again, you know, honestly, I, 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 this could drag on for a long, but I, if it wasn't for your boy, man, we'll be just chatting. But talk man, honestly, thank you so much uh, for your time. Um, and thank you. I know Galisi will probably be watching this or listening to this later on down the track. <laughs> um, Galisi, man, thank you so much for for helping Ite. Yeah. Um, special thank you to to also your mentors, man. Like um, I know one time I know sooner or later I'll be having a chat with Felipe. Yeah. Um, love to get his intake on on you as a student. <laughs> Even better, man, you can come and join us in, yeah. in, in, in the podcast. Yeah. Um, 
But uh, once again, man, like I can't thank you enough. I know we when we, we first talked about this in December and it's uh, April, <laughs> and I know I, I had my father-in-law's birthday and you're busy. You're busy last week, and I I, I really just didn't want to be rude and come and do the thing, and right. you know. But man, we found time, man, and I'm so grateful. Uh, for those who are actually listening, this is it. They do get a chance. This will be uploaded onto all the spot of all the uh, networks out there, um, Apple and on the Google. So if you want to listen, to listen. Um, but once again, thank you. Any last words before we sign off, Doggo? Yeah, just like to thank you. Um, just thank you to my family. Thank you to my mentor, Felipe Tohi and uh, Johnny Wane. And also to, um, especially to my wife, uh, Karisi, uh, for everything. And yeah, we've been through, yeah, what we've been through. And also to my kids, uh, Lavinia and Melino. I uh, just love you. And thank you to everyone else um, that's out there that's listening. And thank you, um, uh, Mr. Tolutau. <laughs> Mr. Tolutau? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for this time. And nah, thank you, man. Thank it's you. a pleasure. Thanks, Docs. Thanks, Docs. Bye bye, Yeah.